nice. I like this. <laughs> the pipe and the, like, the whole flower thing going around it. That's, that's really cute. How's it going? It's Buggy here. And welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Custom Tracks. We've got some new ones for you guys. If you guys are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you guys are ready for the show, then let's go. We have Pill Hill created by Peg21. This is pretty cool. You know, new, simple. Uh, outdoorsy. Let's go outside and touch some grass, guys. We're out here. When they're like swimwear, Pill Hill Valley. Ooh, wait, we're gonna be rocking with the Wiggler. If nothing gets more outdoorsy than being a caterpillar with gloves and shoes. Pill Hill Valley camping grounds. Oh, so we're at a camping site. Nice. That's actually really nice. Oh yeah, I see little tents back there. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of assets being used from like the BCP. You can tell by the trees. Lots of trees. Lots of outdoor stuff. Vegetation's growing. Got lots of plants out here. Piranha plants to attack. But this is like uh, one of the uh, few recent custom tracks that have released. We haven't gotten a lot of those. Mainly because for some reason people are not really making custom tracks for Mario Kart 8. Which I find very strange. I feel like there's just so much more potential to hit. Or at the very least start porting some Mario Kart Wii CTs over. That would be fantastic. Large roads, not too bad. It's pretty basic for a, a custom track. There's not, there's no anti-gravity, just nothing but tricks and driving around and boo stealing my items. But uh, I think this is a pretty like good mushroom cup kind of style track. You know, maybe even flower cup at best. And this very uh fits the style of the BCP, the boost course. Now we're already on to the final lap. I am playing this on 200 CC. This track is a bit larger for even 150. I feel like you would be uh, taking your time kind of going through this on uh, 150. So I wanted to speed up the process by being on 200. It is uh, adjusted for 200. I think there's 200 CC adjusters, especially on that last jump right at the end of the track. And in terms of the uh, style of the track, it's very fitting. I like the giant usage of these pills. The Pill Hills, as of course that's the name of the track. They even got some housing over there. That's kind of cute. They're like living in there. Color wise, it looks gorgeous. Lighting wise, not too bad. Track design, not horrible at all. It is still very basic, but you know, not too bad. The only thing I can really say, it could really use some little bit more obstacles or something in the second half of the track. But for Pill Hill Valley, created by Peg21, this is a pretty solid little basic track. I like it. Here we're at Shroom Falls. This one's created by Toothy. Really gorgeous looking track. Look at this, water slides. We got waterfalls, we got caves, we got caverns. We got everything in here to really explore throughout this one. So we're gonna check this one out and see how good it really plays. Another new custom track to really get our teeth into. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. We got the Sunshine Mario, nothing more fitting. than running down the water slides with a tropical aesthetic. Look at these giant shrooms. I mean, it wouldn't be called Shroom Falls if there wasn't shrooms and things falling, like waterfalls. That's nice. That's, I like this. Getting some usage of the uh, water slide, you know, what the hell is it called? Like the, the feature? You know, they used it in the, uh, oh man, why am I losing my train of thought? Uh, not Mute City. What the heck's the other one? Uh... Big Blue, Big Blue had a couple of those where you're like going down the water slides and stuff. That's actually really nice. Um, it's very interesting, just three item boxes, okay. I feel like the rule of thumb for item boxes should be like, if you're putting an item set, you have to put at least five minimum. I don't think three is a good like spot to put them like in a row like that. Now if it's a separate path, sure, you could do the one item, maybe two items would be fair. You gotta understand, when you're designing custom tracks, you gotta like keep in mind some people are gonna be playing it with friends. And uh not everybody's playing single player like your boy over here. But I only play single player for the showcase, you know? Just, like to showcase all these beautiful tracks. This is nice, I like this. <laughs> the pipe and the like the whole flower thing going around it. That's that's really cute. This whole thing's giving me uh 
the uh, Super Mario Bros. movie vibe. I mean, look at it. Like, I don't know why. It just reminds me of something like that. No, I'm very excited for the sequel of the Mario Brothers. It would be really cool. I wonder what's going to happen. I mean, anything can happen at this point. We know we're going to see Yoshi should be a prominent role for the movie. But with uh, so many Mario games out there and the Mario movie getting some untapped potential, anything can happen. Whoa, oh God. Oh, this way. I want to see more, like, features like this. I think the whole water slide thing is, like, really freaking cool. Oh, God. I overdrift that. Please make a jump. <laughs> Word that you don't make jumps. I'm also noticing this track does not have anti-gravity. In places I feel like it should. Oh, God. Small little bridge. I like it. I like that sometimes, like, not a lot of people tend to do, like, treacherous design. I mean, that bridge is pretty small, even for Mario Kart standards, but I kind of like it. I like the challenge. This is, like, really gorgeous to look at. All the colors, all the bright lights. You got like, this kind of shortcut, kind of alternate path. I somehow messed up. Please make the finish lights right there. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. That was Shroom Falls, a custom track created by Toothy. I've never heard or seen anybody uh, of this creator dropped anything before. This is very impressive. I hope to see more things like this in the future. Alright, well that's gonna be it for this video of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Custom Tracks. Hopefully you guys did enjoy these new custom tracks. We're kind of running thin on CTs, but you know what? It is what it is. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that fucking like button because you're boy over here well. Appreciate it. And as always, I'll see all you beautiful muggies in the next one. Bye bye If there's any Mario Kart mods you guys want me to cover, let me know down in the comments and I'll probably check them out and see what's up.